tailbone awareness. First step, Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of the feet together. Now, generally, the closer the heels are into your groin, the more supportive it is of the knee joints. Generally, the further the heels are away from the groin, the less supportive, and therefore the more strain on your knees and the more stress and stretch you can offer around your hips. Bring your attention to your tailbone. And then with your attention on your tailbone, the tip of the spine, the coccyx, begin to draw the tailbone under and forward. As you do that, allow it to round your spine, holding onto your ankles for support. And as you round the spine, like feel the shoulder blades spread, get huge in the back of the body, breathing there, wiggling a little bit. And then from the tailbone, begin to roll the tailbone back. Feel the pelvis roll forward. Feel how that encourages the heart to lift, shoulders to roll back and down. A couple more rounds with the breath. As you exhale, curl the tailbone under. Feel how that rounds the spine. Hold on to the ankles as you stretch the back of the body. And then feel how you can roll the tailbone back. The pelvis rocks forward. Feel how you can really lengthen the spine. One more time like that. Really paying attention to how your tailbone can initiate the movement. Mm-hmm. Breathing. And this next time, as you roll the tailbone back, pelvis forward, letting the heart lift, this next time, let the hands start to come out in front of you. Now, maintain that architecture for a couple beats, reaching the tailbone back, lengthening through the heart, and then eventually give in to the inevitable, letting the elbows bend, letting the back round. Letting the head drop. Breathe. I like to turn my palms up. I like how it feels a little more vulnerable and a little more receptive. When you feel cooked in that and you're ready to release, let the chin come into the chest and roll it back up. Draw the heels in closer to the groin. Let the hands come behind you. Fingertips forward. Wiggle it a little bit. Now press your heels together a lot. As you press your heels together, send your knees apart. Go up through the heart. Wiggle. Let the throat open. Let the head fall back. Breathing. And then eventually lead with the heart. Let it come all the way back up. Nice. Hands underneath the knees. Draw the knees up. Straighten out through the legs. Shake it out a little bit. And we're moving towards Malasana squat. Feet wide. Now, same idea. Use the tailbone to understand the spine. As you roll the tailbone back, feel how the heart lifts. And as you draw the tailbone under, feel how the spine rounds. Nice. Get good at this. And then let's take that up into Uttanasana. Roll the weight forward, draw the tailbone up. Let the feet point straight forward, shake the head out, and then again, with the tailbone, curl the tailbone under, let the knees bend, feel how that stretches the back, roll the tailbone up, let the legs draw straight, feel how that stretches the hamstrings. So notice how you can use the action of the tailbone to change the feeling to change the emphasis point. Shake the head out. Breathing. Beautiful. 
Nice. Hang in Uttanasana with the legs straight a little bit. You might even notice that as the tailbone lifts, the pelvis rocks forward and the inner thighs spin back. Yeah. And then when you feel cooked there, widen the feet, bend the knees, sink back down, malasana squat pose, pause, breathe.